hot today, man. Okay, shop 4.0, but before we get started, let me know what your favorite shoe of shop 3 was. Mine was the Dior Lowe's. I've got nine of them dead stock still. Now, if you wanted to know, both of my Patreon spreadsheets have been fully updated for this drop. We have 41 new shoes, none of them Nikes. We have a new one of one tier zero shoe. We've got three new Aglet ones. We've also got word on the Discord to hang about till next week for a new update coming to the shop. Not new shoes per se, a new update to the actual shop. Get on the Discord if you aren't there already, by the way. Now, what should you buy from the new Shop 4.0 update? First of all, if you didn't cop the Royals, the Crying Jordan 1s, the Off-White Sale 4s, the Dior Lows, the Origin Stories, or the De La Souls, I'm sorry to say you've taken an L if you like to grind. But that L is only temporary. That is because nothing in the current Shop 4.0 matches those standards for grinding. But that's not to say next week something comes out and blows everything out of the water. We just don't know. I half expected this to happen because, as I've mentioned in a few previous videos, they had to stop at some point with how many good shoes they were just bringing out. All those good shoes that we were getting were coming midway through the shop cycles, except for the De La Souls. The De La Souls were the original, like, oh my gosh, these are great. So yeah, I'm going to dive in and tell you what you should be copping if you use Sneaker Shine and you haven't got a dead sock station. In fifth place... The G Unit G6 Reeboks. These will earn you about 1k profit using Sneaker Shine. That just says it all. The fifth best shoe for Sneaker Shine only earning you 1k. If you've waited, you've taken an L. Number four, the 327 Undyed. This earns you just over 1k if you're using Sneaker Shine. Number three, the Takashi Murakami Crocs. These will earn you just under 2k profit with Aglet Sneaker Shine. Number two, the Invisible One, the Aglet One Ghost. This will earn you just under 4K with Aglet Sneaker Shine. Now to put it into perspective, this is comparable to the Overkill ZX. And in first place, it's the Louis Vuitton 408 Trainer. Using the Sneaker Shine method, you'll be getting about 6.5K. Now that is only comparable to the Dave Runner. I did say those insane grinding shoes we were getting had to end some point soon, and they did, here in Shop 4. Now, dead stocking. In fifth place, the New Balance 992 Jound Collaboration in Green. These earn you total possible profit of 4K. In fourth place, it's the Pharrell Chanel Sneaker. These guys will earn you just over 6K. In third place, it's the Aglet One Ghost, earning you just under 12K Aglet. Number two, the Prada Superstars in the white colorway, earn you over 17K Aglet when dead stocking. And number one, the best shoe to be wearing, if you're dead stocking, if you're shining, anything, the LV408. This shoe will be bringing you in 21k profit if you dead stock it. Now keep in mind, if you did miss out on getting the De La Souls, they earned you the same amount of profit as the LV408s, but they had less durability and they cost less. This means you could have started earning more aglet earlier on in the game with them costing 7.5k aglet less. And for each repair, you'd have to walk about 3,000 steps less, if you verified, of course, walking outside. Now finally, the gold aglet shoes. I've got a pair for each tier, and you should only repair them using dead sock stations if possible. Tier five is the A6 Gel Light 3 Dragon Fruit. This one earns you about 4k aglet. Tier four, it's a big jump, it's the aglet one denim. This will earn you about 22k aglet when using dead sock stations. At tier three, it's the Aglet One High GA. This shoe will earn you just under 120k Aglet when dead stocking it. If you're going for a tier three shoe, I'd seriously consider not going for the Easy 500 blush. These shoes present terrible value when compared to other shoes from other drops with the same possible profit. For tier two, I'd say go for my tier three choice. The two tier two shoes that have come with Shop 4.0 don't have great value to them. And also it's much easier to find a tier three dead stock station. Now for tier one, if you've missed out on the shattered backboards from the last shop, you've taken a massive L here. That's not to say something great won't come in the future, but for this shop, I'd say you have to go for the Pharrell Human Race NMD NERD. This shoe will earn you between 470 to 480K Aglet. And for tier zero, there's only one of them, the Sign 750. So that's it for what you should be buying, but my top tip is to not buy at all. If you've got shoes on your shelf that you can wear, I'd say, do that because they probably hold a lot better earning potential than what's in the shop at the moment. I'm going to be plowing through my backlog Dior Lowe's and I think you guys should be doing the same too. I'm sure there's plenty of good pairs on the horizon, we just haven't got them yet. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider hitting that like button and subscribing and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.